camera, lights, action. Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carolina, just in case you didn't know because I don't think I have ever mentioned my name on this channel. Today I have a very impromptu abs workout for you guys. Um, I haven't planned anything, haven't written anything down, I don't know what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to improvise it totally. Um, all you're going to need is a bottle of water, a, a yoga mat or a carpet, any sort of soft surface will do. We'll just jump right into it. Today we're going to be focusing on the upper uh, and lower abs, also we're going to fo be focusing on the obliques. So yeah, let's get right into it, let's go. So the first exercise we're going to do is crunches. Crunches activate the upper abs and what you want to focus on is making sure that your shoulders are off the ground. Also, your hands are going to be behind your head so that you can support it but make sure not to um, put all the weight on your neck, put all the strain. We don't want to put all the strain on our neck. You have to engage your abs, make sure that you squeeze every single second and yeah just make sure if you start feeling some pain in your neck make sure to engage your core even more uh, so yeah let's get right into it we'll do 30 of those let's go and yeah this is not a full uh, sort of sit up movement we're doing crunches we want to focus on um, activating our uh, upper uh, abs. I'm not really counting, I don't know how many I've done. As you can see, I'm not really pulling my head with my hands. Um, I'm just engaging my abs as much as possible to pull my upper body up. So leg raises are going to help us activate the lower um, abs. So if you want to have very nice visible um, lower abs, this is what you should be doing. Also, for those of you who might not know, if you want to have visible abs, you do have to um, do cardio. You have to make sure you eat very clean. Abs exercises will not help you build those visible abs, that visible six pack that everybody wants. Um, you will develop a very strong core, your abs will be very strong, but if you have excessive fat on your stomach, obviously they will not show. So what you want to do, you want to do cardio, you want to do um, strength training, HIIT workouts, you want to make sure you have a clean diet. So those four things are really important, including abs exercises, because you do want to make sure that your core is really strong. So just remember that you do need to do other things to get visible abs. So now let's move on to uh, the leg raises. And if you want it easy, you can put your hands underneath your booty like so and do it like this. Or you can just do it like this. This is the harder version. You can keep your head off the ground as well if you want to challenge yourself even more. Not just your head, but your shoulders as well and make sure that you're not straining your neck. Engage your core all the time. And let's do around 20 of those. Not really counting, so I don't know how many I've done. But I can tell you right now, I'm already sweating. Maybe because it's really hot in this room. And make sure to breathe every time you do an exercise. Do not hold your breath in. So just make sure to breathe in every time your legs go down and breathe out every time your legs go up. Okay. 
And now we're going to move on to flutter kick. So we go down, do this in the same position. It's sort of like uh, leg raises, but with kicks. And let's do around 30 seconds of this. All right, you guys, I don't know how about you, but my abs are really nice and activated. You know, it's so much pain. Uh, let's drink some water, I'm just truly exhausted. Okay, so, those three exercises to activate your upper and lower um, abs. Those are really good. Um, and yeah, now we're going to move on to some more exercises. Also, if you want to, um, so if you have resistant bands, these resistant bands look like this and you can get them anywhere on eBay or Amazon and when we were doing our crunches you can just put the resistance band on your legs make sure that you're squeezing your legs, your quads and just do crunches like this so this way you're going to be engaging more muscles not only your abs but your legs as well um, so if you fancy doing that, you can do that too. Um, and yeah, let's move on to the next exercise. So the next exercise is going to be um, simple plank. A very effective uh, to build a strong core. So let's do 30 seconds of this. Make sure your booty isn't sticking out. Uh, make sure you're in a nice straight uh, plank position. And let's count down. And now, the next exercise is my favourite exercise. We're going to be doing side to side hip dips in this plank position. So don't move, just start moving side to side. And let's do 30 of those. This is a real burner. It really burns not only your abs, but your arms as well. But this is really good for our weeks. And let's do 30 of those. so much okay so now let's focus a little bit more on our obliques just 
just lay down on your side make sure your legs are slightly forward your body shouldn't be in a straight position but rather in a kind of like a V slight V position and we're gonna do hip dips and let's do 15 on each side if you have weight you can put weights on your side um, that one will engage your obliques, your core even more and to the other side try me, I'm exhausted from my face. It's crazy. I was going to do this video outside but the audio wouldn't have, wouldn't have been as good as it is here so this is my punishment. I have to sweat a lot. Alright guys make sure to drink some water and we're going to do this whole thing one more time. You can do it two more times. I'm only going to do it one more time because I'm going to the gym today. All right, so I'm dreading it, but let's do it. Let's do it one more time. As I said, 30 crunches, half first exercise. Let's do it. Engage your core. Make sure you don't put too much strain on your neck. And let's go. What I'm gonna do, uh, just to show you, it's so impromptu that I don't even know what I'm doing. So uh, I'm gonna put my resistance band on my legs. So it's a bit more difficult. I like to challenge myself. And if you have one at home, do that too. Challenge yourself. Set yourself higher goals. We can always achieve more than we think. And let's go. much so if you can't do 30 do 20 crunches instead because that's a killer that's an absolute killer oh what was the next exercise leg raises oh. all right let's do some leg raises guys remember for an easier version hands underneath your bum if you want it more difficult Raise your head a little bit and let's go. And let's do 20 of those.
Perfect, great. Two exercises down. Now we've got flutter kicks. So let's go people. Legs up and let's go. 30 seconds of this. And when you're doing this, make sure your back is not arching, make sure your back is flat on the ground. You don't want to be arching your back, that's going to be damaging your back. I'm just talking because this exercise is really hard, so talking allows me to stop and talk. some water and then let's move on to our second set. I must say I do prefer the second set over set number one. Set number one just kills me. And now onto the second exercise, hip dips. the same way I'm feeling. I'm exhausted. But we have one more exercise to go. Uh, some more hip dips. And let's go. 15 on each side. Oh. Oh. 
And we're done. Feels amazing. My abs feel activated like never before. I'm very sweaty. But I feel great. Right, so this is it. We did it. I'm sweaty. I don't know if you can see, but my face is so sweaty. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I don't plan anything. This is a very impromptu abs workout. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Comment your favourite app exercise. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.